My name is Marvin Martinez. I'm from San Defonso Pueblo. I do the traditional black pottery. I've been doing the pottery together, my wife and I, about um, 25 years. The different times of the season, I remember, you know, just being there with my grandfolks and my great grandmother, and just um, they would be talking about the the seasons and then the where they travel when they did pottery and the dances that took place here at the Pueblo and they would be saying, oh, this is the time to do this. Next season, this is the time this dance is up. And I mean, it was an ongoing cycle each year. They reminded me, this goes here, this goes there. And I think, you know, it just, they, just that connection with the elders, you know, drew me to the, not only the pottery, but to the, to the cultural aspects of the, of the Pueblo life. And <clears throat> the temper, and it is, it is like clay. A mixture of this makes a bond. I think just growing up with the, with the, with the dirt and trying to form different things as you're a young kid. It's a lot of fun growing up in the Pueblo. I grew up there in the village. They know, a lot of them know the history of the pottery. Or they'll come up and say, you must be a relative of Maria. And a lot of them will say, we knew her and she was very kind to us and helped us. This one here is the red on slip for the polish in here. It comes in a rock form, but when you put it in water, it dissolves into a silky paint. So when I meet customers in Santa Fe, whether it's the Palace of the Governor's Portal or the Indian Market, I tell the people that we mix our own clay. So this is the this is the process right here. What I'm, what I'm doing is mixing our own clay. So we tell them that it's not pre-processed. We we tell them the the procedures, and that makes it special. I still remember the days going out in the fields and gathering the, the materials with my grandfather. Sometimes we would get the truck and the, a little bit of sand there and get stuck, and we would be walking for looking for somebody to help us pull us out, out of the royal. <laughs> one time I told my grandfather, let me drive out. I, I think I can drive it out of the sand. And he said, no, no, no. <laughs> Growing up, I, you know, I watched my grandfolks work on pottery and then they allowed me to touch clay and start make, forming the pot. And then in the beginning, I would play with the clay, they would get after me. And then sometimes I would, I remember touching the tools, the gourds. One time I was testing the durability of it and I broke one and <laughs> for a while I <laughs> stayed away and then, then slowly they let you get back into it. And, I'll be um, scraping the pottery, and um, the pot is um, almost dry, but not quite. And what I do is clean it up, give it a little detail before the actual draw drying, so <clears throat> that way I can um, prepare it for sandpapering. That will be the next step that I do once the pot is made and then it's, it's um, dried. As it dries, we go over it again to um, scrape it with the tools that I have here. These are lids that I use from the, um, and then this are the knives that I use to scrape. What I'm gonna be doing now is, this is the, the dry pottery from after it's been um, 
after the scraping and the drying, the next step is to sandpaper the pottery. And Maria and Julian found that um, when they worked, when Julian worked with the Museum of New Mexico, when he saw the archaeologists using sandpaper to sand the screen doors, the wood, or sort of things like that, and so he found it to use it on the pottery, which made it smooth and more perfecting the shape. So they gradually, um, Maria and Julian, adapted um, using sandpaper. So this is the um, natural red iron oxide that I used for designing the pottery to slip. And this was painted onto the to the burnished pottery. You have to add water to the normal consistency because you want it a little bit more <clears throat> to be more to apply it with with the even strokes and texture. Sometimes it'll come out a little thick, but what we do is just add a little water. The most traditional ones are the eagle feather and the avanyu. The avanyu is the water serpent, the rain serpent. Prayer for rain and water, and it was it was revised by my great grandfather. Cow chips we use is a for a source of insulation and heat and that will provide the, the fire and then also the insulation of the pottery. And then also the horse manure will be smothered on top of that. When it turns red hot, we smother the horse manure. The horse manure has to be grounded, dried, and <clears throat> when we pour it over the fire, it will oxidize the pottery to the black. And so with a stick, I'll be poking the horse manure into the cracks, into the bed of charcoal. At the same time, the cow manure, the cow patties will help um, burn the, the horse manure also in the process. So from then, we keep it covered to the end of the fire. So uh, Maria, Maria started coming to the Indian market. The first one was probably held in 1922. My grandfather and, and grandmother attended the Indian market probably in the in the 50s, 60s, on up, all the way to the to the 80s. As my grandfolks, they used to come here in the in their 70s, and I, when I was a young boy, we used to come up here early mornings, and they would set up and. Oh, well, we've been coming here about maybe 10 years now, and um, I think we we, gen we we took our time, you know, to to come to the market. That's a lot of the the pueblos benefit from the Indian market because we have different types of um, artists and craftsmen that do the pottery. Um, they do other um, paintings, drawings, silverwork and then the turquoise work so I, it, it generates and it helps all the families because the families work together as a whole and it brings them closer together at this time during the market times so the people get together and the families work together and that's the way it's been over you know generations so it's very important to the culture cultural and then also the, the arts yeah, 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 yeah.